We are learning new details about what may have caused the tragic fire that claimed the lives of a mother and her four young children. And WGN's Brona Tumulty is joining us now live from Des Plaines with more tonight. Brona. Good evening, guys. Tragedy is the only way to describe what happened here. Investigators now believe that a space heater at the top of the stairs near the family's unit may have been to blame and likely blocked their only means of escape. I got up. Well, I woke up around uh, 9.30, 9.36 or something like that. Wednesday started like any other day for Pablo Marrero with the patter of little feet upstairs. I could hear the kids running upstairs, which was normal. Our kids, they're going to run, they're going to play. But a short time later, he knew something was wrong. Uh, and I detect uh, uh, an odor of, uh, like, burnt plastic. So at that point, I got up and started to get dressed to go find out where the, uh, where the uh, smell is coming from. And then a stranger started banging on his door. And he's, he's screaming at me to come out of the house because the house is on fire. As first responders flooded the scene, Marrero and everyone else watched and waited. Hopeful firefighters would find Sitali Zamoto and her four little girls, six-year-old Renata, five-year-old Genesis, three-year-old Allison, and one-year-old Grace Espinosa. And one of the uh, uh, firefighters comes out with one, one, of the, one of the girls in his hands. Uh, she's all been blackened by all the smoke and all the stuff. Uh, she seems unconscious. But one by one... A, a minute or two goes by, there's another one that comes out, same, uh, same condition. Little bodies were brought out. And the third one comes out in the same condition as well. And then came a stretcher. Yeah, and, uh, and we're just standing there waiting, where's the mom and where's the baby? The sheet covering the young mother, making it obvious to onlookers what had happened. Uh, they didn't make it. We spoke with the girl's heartbroken uncle, Horatio Espinoza. <inaudible> who tells us his nieces all had their own personalities and he loved each of them like they were his own children. The house itself remains boarded up. The city telling us today it was last inspected in 2018 and passed. But we're told no smoke detectors were found upstairs where the family lived. The 104-year-old multi-unit property also has a code enforcement case pending, along with a long history of similar violations for things like illegal burning, unregistered vehicles and debris. i got to figure out where I'm going and what I'm going to do from now on. Now, Marrero is picking up the pieces of his own life, just wishing there had been more time to help the little feet on the second floor. It was so quick. It's just, there was nothing we could do. There was nothing the police could do. There was nothing the firefighters could do. They can see a little memorial is growing outside of the home. A GoFundMe has also been set up for the family and amassed more than $20,000 of a $50,000 target. We're going to get the link for that up on our website under this story. Live in Des Plaines, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.